Okay, welcome to this recording on the Promotion Playbook. We are going through the Game Day Toolbox, and this series is called Five Minutes of Fire. So all these videos will be five, around five minutes. A couple of them go a little bit longer. But the goal is to just give you these small pieces of information so you can listen to it, get an idea of this tool that might be helpful for your promotional test, and then get the Promotion Playbook, or you can look at season one of the podcast, or you can go to YouTube and find out more videos I've created on this. You can also go to promotionplaybook.com where I'm gonna be creating more. Um, I actually have some, some coaching programs and some uh, just recently finished up an academy where I took a group of guys through this, this program that really helped to refine them for their promotional test. So for now, um, we are going through the game day toolbox. We are in the last part of this. And the last section is the application skills. So the four skills that you want to develop are study skills, speaking skills, writing skills, and application skills. Application is anything that's not covered by those other skills. Um, there's a lot of great content in here, but it is not all inclusive. So there's likely going to be things on your test that are not covered in the promotion playbook. I just want to emphasize the promotion playbook is not designed to be a substitute for any of your studying or preparation for the test. It's designed to be a guide and it's designed to enhance all the things that are specific to your test. So don't get too carried away studying the templates if it's not part of your specific test. If, you've, if you follow the seven strategies, you should have a, a customized specific plan for your test and then choose the skills that are in this part of the book to help you. The skills available in the application skills, most of these are directed towards a company officer position or maybe a chief position. Um, it's not so much at the driver operator or firefighter position, although it could be helpful uh, to use some of these. So the first one is a guideline. Um, it's called the four hazard zones. It just gives you four areas that you're responsible for and that you really have to be aware of during your assessment center. The next one is a shift prep sheet, and that just helps you to, to um, understand who's on your crew for that day and how to best manage the situations that could come up. The next one is a role play size up sheets, and those help you to navigate the, the variety of role play scenarios that you could face. Then there's an in basket guide, and then I have incident size up sheets, which help you to give an initial size up for a, a variety of different situations. And the final is an incident resource list. So the incident size up sheets is designed to be combined with the incident resource list as one of many formats that are out there for giving a size up. They're simple, they're easy to follow. Um, and if you like these size up sheets, I encourage you to use them. If something else for, works for you, uh, that's fine too. This is just one guideline to consider for giving a good size up, a good 360 report, and then the resource list is that so you can best manage the resources on scene. You can track their roles and also keep track of times and make sure you're hitting those priorities on the incident. That's it for this recording. So the next recording is we're going to get into detail on these. Again, in only five minutes, we're not going to go into we're not going to go in the full depth of each of these. You can buy the promotion playbook on Amazon. You can also go to promotionplaybook.com to find out more. And uh, I look forward to working with you. Thank you.